कोंकण मराठा ऑन्ट्रप्रनोर्स प्रेजेंट्स चैंपियंस ऑफ इनोवेशन सीरीज नमस्कार सगळ्या संक्रांती निमित्त शुभेच्छा आमगेल कोकण मराठा ऑन्ट्रप्रनोर्स या चॅम्पियन्स ऑफ इनोव्हेशन सिरीज च्या आजच्या डिस्कशन सगळ्यांना स्वागत असा हॅलो एव्हरी वन विशिंग यू अ व्हेरी हॅपी मकर संक्रांती अँड ऑल्सो व्हेरी हॅपी न्यू इयर Can we welcome you to the first discussion of 2022 as part of the Champions of Innovation series? Our team has been reaching out to eminent personalities who have demonstrated the path to success and help bring an impact to society around us. Today we have a speaker who is a PhD in chemistry from Pune and has been a Mondelez International Fellow at Mondelez International R&D Center in Chicago. He has 27 years experience. of R&D with Kraft and Mondelez. Prior to joining Kraft, he worked with the University of Minnesota, Auburn University, Alabama, and Institute for Chemical Research, Poeto University, Japan, for around eight years. His areas of research interest include microencapsulation, control delivery, emulsions, foams, colloids, surface chemistry, fats, and oils. He's an inventor and co-inventor of more than 50 US and foreign papers. He has authored or co-authored around 60 journal articles, proceeding papers and abstracts. He has organized and co-chaired several national and international symposia, as well as lectured at numerous conferences and short courses. He has even edited five books in some of his areas of specialization. He has received numerous awards for innovation, productivity and leadership. But it does not end here. He voluntarily retired as Vice President R&D Asia Pacific at Cadbury India Foods in Mumbai. And he and his wife, Rupa Gaukar, they choose to move to India and settle in Amdali to dedicate majority of their retired life helping the underprivileged people. Please welcome Dr. Anil Gaukar from Amdali. Thank you, Namaskar. Thank you, Rupa Kinchan. and we wish you a belated happy sankranti and happy new year so pehil matlar pratham ha kemi team asa hamka anik baki che je invisible players asa the to tam sagle ko want to thank for inviting me for this webinar some of the invisible players punit desh deepak kishor subhash suraj prashab हे मला खबर आशिले आणि बाकीचे उरतले इफ आय मिस द नेम प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी सो आय वुड लाईक ऑल्सो टू थँक किरण फॉर होस्टिंग दिस वेबिनार सो आय वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट दिस बाय सॅल्युटिंग माय गुरुज गुरु ब्रह्म गुरु विष्णू गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परब्रह्म तस्मय गुरु वे नम गुरु म्हटलं जस्ट आमगेलो शिकल शाळे शिकल गुरुच न पेरेंट्स our siblings and friends colleagues and even our children we learn from them so we there is no end to learning so we always get good things from everyone ata i will first take few minutes to uh, take you through my life journey how am delhi jallo am delhi wadelo and then i did my schooling up to fourth in amdali public school and tejnantara shwai school at fifth to tenth kelo ssc jalantara karwar arts and science college at bsc kelo actually magale kannad medium is limited college agalantara puc first year was very difficult because everything was in english so i could not do that well in the first year but bsc the i stood first to the college in chemistry major anek nantar ha msc karya mana ka karnataka university ka apply kelo i got a msc seat in physical chemistry and then i also stood first there in the physical chemistry batch and then nantar ha ek vars anga ulgat लेक्चर म्हणून रबलो की त्यांना ते सायन्स स्ट्रीम सुरू केले 
And then I joined uh, NCL 1976. 13 months okay. after PhD, Bandaka Ekan, Tenchana, I got a scholarship from Japanese government, uh, science and technology department, to do research in Kyoto University, Institute for Chemical Research. Thay Don Varsullo, Tenchan Magira, I got a postdoctoral scholarship in University of Minnesota. Thay Exadith University, Tenantar Abban University, Don Vars. So, I got married with Rupa and uh, then we had a son Gautam and then Gaurav and uh, in 1987 I got a job in uh, Kraft, Kraft Foods. Kraft is the biggest food company in the United States. Kraft acquired uh, other companies and they divided that into two parts. Craft Foods and Mandalis. And then Mandalis bought uh, Cadbury's. So I had the opportunity to come to Bombay, uh, Cadbury Hosata, for two years as a vice president for research, Asia Pacific. And then after that, I went back to US and uh, I thought uh, I want to do something in life. There is no end to you know, gaining money. So somewhere we have to say, stop. And my wife Rupa also, uh, you know, uh, encouraged me. And that's why we were able to come back to uh, Amdali where I grew up. And then uh, we performed the marriages of two children, Gautam and Gaurav in Karwar area. So this is uh, to tell you, in brief, uh, my 60 years history in about five minutes. Thank you, Anilbo. Thank you so much. Your journey is an inspiring story. And a humble upbringing, childhood schooling in tough circumstances. You going out of the way to participate in extracurricular activities. I heard about it. Uh, and then your postdoctoral research as a teacher, and then continuing the research right throughout your corporate, resulting in multiple patents and journals and authoring books. So, how do you really feel? Is it like a, is it like a sense of achievement? Was there any goal vision that you had uh, in mind when you started? I think the audience would definitely like to know, in your own words. Yeah, definitely. I good. I feel good about my life journey, definitely it feel, I feel a sense of uh, achievement, especially based on where I started from and where I ended up with. And my goal was to become the best I can be. So whatever it is, do the best what I can. And uh, the trigger in my case was the, to do continue doing research was the opportunity for me to go abroad. And that kept me going. That was the main trigger. I continued the research. As you know, we didn't have very good facility everywhere in our research institutes. So, you know, I tried to go abroad so that I can get all the good facilities and do good research. So that's the reason I ended up going abroad. So what was that uh, trigger that actually uh, kept you going with your research? Was there something that uh, inspired you at that point of time? And also in the initial years, was there some tipping point when you almost felt like uh, maybe you're not able to do what you wanted to do? And how did you overcome this challenge? Yeah, uh, the first tipping point was when I got admission in physical chemistry for MSA in Karnataka University. Because usually I was interested in uh, organic chemistry and I stood first to my college, uh, passed with distinction, uh, but still I didn't get my first choice. They gave me physical chemistry because the head of the department, Dr. Jaydeva that year was a physical chemist and he wanted to have good, some good students in his area. 
So I was not happy about that. But in my heart, I know that I have a good potential to excel. And uh, I overcame my uh, disappointment by promising myself that I would be the best physical chemist. So I continued uh, and joined MSc in physical chemistry at Karnataka University. So I believe that whatever happens, happens for good. And that came through many uh, instances, as you can see later. And the second typical point was, you know, when uh, I was not able to get the scholarship transferred from Ruya College to NCL. Because when I finished my BS, uh, MSc, uh, ultimately I got a good grade. So, you know, it was, I thought of doing PhD. So the PhD career, you need to get a good guide. And I didn't know anyone at that time. So my like friend uh, he's a classmate, Shri Shanbagwana. So then Sangaloki Riva College Dr. Sane Manasa, and he is a good guide, he has a good facility. And uh, I will talk to him if you are interested. I said, okay, go ahead and talk. And he spoke with him, and then he agreed, looking at my uh, resume. And then I got the scholarship. Meanwhile, I went to NCL and uh, asked Dr. Kati whether he can accept me as a student. And he was also ready to accept me as a student. And he said, get that uh, CSL scholarship transferred from Ruya College to NCL. So I, when I got it, I requested Dr. Sane, but uh, he refused. He said, no, if you want to come, just come here. Otherwise, just you know, forget about it. So I said, OK, I'll forget about it. Because uh, I thought that doing PhD in NCL uh, you know, he, which is one of the best institute of CSIR uh, is, is good for me. So I thought, okay, with my marks, I will get a second time. And meanwhile, what happened was uh, there was a job opening for a lecturer in uh, chemistry in uh, Mahasati College in Uluga. They just started science stream. So I got a job there and then uh, after, again, I applied for the scholarship next year and I got the scholarship there. And uh, that was, you know, the second tipping point. And another thing I want to mention here is uh, also um, before this, uh, uh, when before the second uh, CSR application for the fellowship, I, I was not happy. So I thought maybe I should join uh, Indian Armed force. So, because we have, you know, some uh, people in our family joining the armed forces, and then I saw a advertisement for the naval officers, and uh, I applied for it, and I went for a four-day interview, SSB interview in Bhopal, and I was selected uh, because I also did. I was uh, interested in, you know, NCC. NCC. I did four years in college pass the B certificate, C certificate. So with all that, I you know, got selected, but I was uh, unfit in medical exam because uh, my left diaphragm is tilted a little bit up, up, upside and they want a picture perfect result. So, you know, again, whatever happens, happens for good. So if I were, uh, you know, given that opportunity, I would have ended up as an officer in, uh, uh, this naval base in Karwar, retired from naval base in Karwar. So I wouldn't have been this prosperous, I believe, but I would have, you know, served the country. Okay. So that I would just wanted to, you know, bring that to your attention. So yeah. when I when I joined NCL, I knew that I will go abroad. That's for sure. And I was determined. And I want to invoke uh, Swami Vivekananda's word here that uh, you can do anything and everything if you are determined to do it. Believe in yourself. I believe in myself and I thought, you know, I will get the opportunity, work hard, work smart, and the rest of the history. Thank you. Thank you, Anilbo. I think uh, you are a person who 
never really gave up and kept trying right mm. and i think we, because we are now talking about that point when your career was starting so in today's world uh, there is lots of information available to the younger generation aajkal je burgya when the college a urta atna college lan bahar padta khup kitke information easily melta je pehle mel nahi chale right ani khup choices asat career a karu kitche job job a churu kitche field uru it is not typical engineering or doctoring now right so uh, what would be your advice for choosing a career or maybe for the journey ahead for the current generation yeah uh, i i would say you know deciding a career could be one of uh, their most important decision they could ever make in their life and i recommend doing a swot analysis through self assessment so what kind of questions do you ask you ask what first you find out what are the key values okay like financial stability helping others or independence or nine to five job what what are your values second what soft skills do you have like time management communication problem solving leadership team work those kind of what what is your forte and then what technical skills do you have data analytics planning research or linguistic abilities those kind of things so what natural aptitude you possess that means reading writing leadership selling communicating uh, technical problem solving planning all those things and then what is your personality like sir are you a quiet person or aggressive outgoing or are confident or introvert extrovert see you have to look at all these things and then crystallize in your mind what you really want to do what is the best job for you because in the job you have to be happy so you have to finalize it and then another thing to consider is like salary what kind of salary you are expecting job requirements growth opportunities in a company or in a government job outlook okay so with all that you explore and then you narrow down the list prepare a resume because the resume is the one thing which will help you to get the interview if you have a very good resume you will get a call for interview so then you have to figure out how to appear for interview there hundreds of books are written on this subject so they have to read this lot of uh, pointers hints are given how to Uh, you know present yourself in the interview so with all that once you you know impress them with the resume and then impress during interview you get the job and the job can be even as a researcher see researcher lifelong you can be researcher and it can be an academic or it can be private it can be government sectors uh, or it can be you can be entrepreneur because as you uh, notice there are very few people in our community who are entrepreneurs so you can just count in you know on fingers so i think there are always good and bad for everything but uh, we are afraid of uh, failure so we don't uh, you know go out of the box we want to be in a comfort zone so but those who want to achieve best you know they can be entrepreneur too so they should give a try if they have all the skills they have to be entrepreneur thank you uh, thank you anilbab mm-hmm. so coming towards the later half of your life right you had a phd uh, post doctoral research high profile job in the usa uh, even your wife uh, rupa gaukar rupa tai she had a great going career so what really made you quit such an illustrious career and come back to amdeli what was your driving factor खूप लोक उरतात जेमका कितके करचे असे दिसता पण ते एक एस्पेशली ज्यांना जॉब एक व्यवस्थित टॉप मॅनेजमेंट असा त्याने सगळे सोन येऊचे इज रिअली अ व्हेरी टफ डिसिजन तर ते किती आशिले म्हणजे वॉट रिअली वॉज ड्रायव्हिंग यू अँड ऑल्सो रुपात आई सो ड्रायव्हिंग फोर्स फॉर अस वॉज टू यु नो टेक केअर ऑफ पॅरेंट्स ड्युरिंग दर ओल्ड एज नंबर वन number 2 giving back to the society society has given us lot 
So we have to pay that before we leave this world. And uh, the first thing is self-explanatory, taking care of parents. The second thing, giving back to society. So it helps, uh, it uh, includes helping the underprivileged uh, people and also mainly to inspire the youth to achieve their best potential. So that is one of my uh, you know, ideas coming back was a lot of poor kids, they don't uh, you know, uh, aspire for big things. So I wanted to give my example. So I have come from the humble beginning and achieved all that in life because of the hard work. And you can also be like me. And there are a lot of you know, other uh, personalities, they know uh, our leaders who had nothing, but they have everything at the end. And you can say, you said, you know, people talk about it, but they don't come. So if you might have, you know, seen the tagline on my WhatsApp, it's the be the change you want to see in the world. So that's Mahatma Gandhi's quote, and he's one of my heroes. So unless we jump into, nothing will happen. We cannot just keep on talking. We have to be on the ground to do the work if we really want to do it. And I thought that you know my life is not complete without doing this thing. So that is the main reason where, uh, why you know, I wanted to come back. Okay. I would just like to invite uh, Rupa Tai here, but I think her audio is not yet connected. So maybe I'll, I'll just wait for that. Rupa Tai, are you able to hear us? Okay, audio is still connecting to audio. Okay, we'll, we'll still keep going till then. So your family, you and your family have been working for the underprivileged sections of Karwar area to the Prem Tash Prashram for several areas now uh, and for several years in different areas and for several years without any government support. So how do you really manage to uh, balance all the responsibilities, right? Because once you take up something like this, the, the onus comes on you to, to ensure that it's really going in a smooth manner. Yeah, uh, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear you? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, I would like to give you a brief about the pre Ashram Charitable Trust, where only the volunteers, we are nobody in the trust. Um, this trust was started uh, about 14 years ago. And uh, we, we had a plan to come back and we encouraged some of the local people, like-minded people to form this trust. And they formed the trust and uh, it was about 14 years ago and they got a 12A certification. That means they get tax exemption, the, ta the trust gets tax exemption. And then also that ATG, ATG is uh, where Donors, they get a tax exemption. And then FCRA. FCRA is Foreign Contribution Regulation Act, where you are able to get the money from, you know, abroad in foreign currency. So those are all were done. And they are working in the area of education, poverty, health, and women empowerment. And uh, I wanted to mention here that we wouldn't have gotten FCRA permission, but for help from Kamlaj Bhav. Kamlaj Bhav helped us this trust for the first four years enormously. So very generous donation. So they were, we were able to uh, get this FCRB permission. And also other, I just wanted to mention some names uh, with other donors who have given more than a lakh, like Dr. Vinayak, Santosh Rane, Sharad Naik, Shoram Gaonkar, Prakash Gaonkar, Dr. Pam Kaushal. Uh, so those are the people who gave more than uh, one lakh. And there are a lot of people who have donated uh, you know, over the years. And uh, they give financial scholarship anywhere from 500 to 800 students every year. It can be from 1,000 rupees to 10,000 rupees based on what they do and what are their needs. Uh, so in the last, uh, say, 12 years or so, they paid about uh, one crore for all those you know, uh, scholarships. And also they started a hostel for uh, poor girls from very remote areas. 
በጣም ገለ ያንገ ወልጋማተ ናዘለር ተ ከድራ ከድራ እንደ ጆይዳ ኩምባዶለ ተ ገለር ቤት ቤት ቢትር ጋማሰት ህቱ ድራ አረኛ ተ ጋማሰት አንተም ካ ቸቸሩዳ ሰበን ዘለንትር ተምካ ወፈተር ፔጅ መልዳመን ተምካ ኤዝ አ ሜድ ዴሰንዴቱ ኩና ባምበ ጎዋ ካምሎር ወካ ከን ካም ፈርቻ ኩን የለንተ ሜድ ለግን ፈጃ ዳንዲሽ ሶ ዊ ድንክ ዶስ ጋልስ ኤንድ ፑት ዘም ኢን ሆስቴል ኤንድ ዴ ጎ ቱ ዘ ኒየር ባይ አስኖቲ ሃይስኩል ኤንድ ዴ ጌት አ ሃይስኩል ዲግሪ ኤንድ ሰም ኦፍ ዘም ጎ ቱ ኮሌጅ ሰም ኦፍ ዘም ጎ ቱ ላይክ አ ቲቺንግ ፕሮፌሽን ኦር ነርሲንግ those things and two of uh, you know people who supported they became engineers be kelten i mean it that didn't them support kar lagi so they got b degree and uh, you know they were the first graduates from their village so also hey hostels was on about failures yale. but at the two years earlier as noted the trustana ek navin hostel banla it is like a four star facility for those girls with all the amenities and uh, there are 24 girls every year and about 150 girls they have passed the sslc uh, and then moved out anek initiative we started was the learning through computers at master by sipetana te me porakit lakshun te bahar se play to vrta but when they learn through computer they are hooked on to it so we teamed up with a institution from bangalore called Achala Bharati, they uploaded all the software for the Karnataka Kannad medium education in the computer and they brought the computer here and uh, they trained teachers and the students how to use it. So we want to go for a particular chapter, they just open the chapter and then, you know, start learning. And it's more uh, interesting because there is animation and uh, colorful pictures and those things. So it was very uh, well received by the students and the parents. and uh, and also the teachers because teachers get time when these kids you know do this because now they have a lot of administrative responsibilities so but unfortunately during this pandemic everything is everything stopped now they are doing it through youtube youtube are through they can you know study those things and another this is about education the health uh, and uh, poverty program as well give financial aid to deserving people and also there are programs on women empowerment so i don't want to go into the detail also i want to mention that rupa and i gave a career guidance uh, and uh, also personality development seminar in colleges so you go to different colleges because some of these kids they don't have they don't know about soft skills because it's not their problem amgel hanga india the soft skill uh, they don't teach right so we te- we learn like uh, physics chemistry biology math uh, accountancy history geography at soft skill ami kona ate shikena but in us kind of uh, you know countries they learn from the beginning so amgel hanga college a gelar bsc final a shilik tala ka apan tu baba tujhe bale tu le ek minute so they are not able to talk say thing because they have first you know stage fear and they don't know what to do they they cannot formulate uh, a speech in their mind like starting you know middle end so they don't uh, you know have those uh, skills and we want them to learn this at least if 10% of them get good, good uh, you know skills from our being there it is worth it so we do that uh, in different colleges and you ask us uh, you know how do you manage the responsibilities i think that one when one is determined to accomplish the mission he or she can go on and on without getting tired such is the power of determination uh, so it it feels good to see the smile on face of the people being helped you know that that is a big reward and uh, management Anil Bhav, I think I lost you a little bit. Uh, Rupate, I see you. Uh, are you able to hear me? Can you unmute? You're on mute. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. 
I'm sorry, I was I was having some trouble earlier joining in, but I'm glad I'm in. Uh, and it's a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect time. As, as Anil Bhav said, all happens for good. So I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So uh, again, for the audience, uh, Rupata is someone who has played a very pivotal role in, in many of the decision making in throughout their life. And uh, one of one of the uh, again one of the driving factors on that decision, right? The big decision when someone has to come back. So a quick question for you, Rupatai. Uh, he Anil Bahu, he's told his part of the story, but after after spending so long in in US, how was it for you to really come back? Was it equally easy or difficult, uh, especially as a professional and also as a mother? Okay, so. Um... Just on a lighter note, uh, you know, all the decisions are made by Anil, and then the follow through <laughs> is done by me. Uh, even in our, in our journeys and uh, all the trip we take, he's the one who decides because he says, that if I leave it to you, we will not go anywhere. <laughs> so Anil decides, and then uh, we go, and then I take over in terms of what to see and where to go and all that. But um, apart from that, uh, so to answer your question, Ami, uh, you know, I just studied, I did my master's here, and uh, I went there, uh, got married and went there. So uh, pretty much all my life, my, my career, I got another master's in computer science over there, had two children, worked there uh, for 20 plus years. So all of that uh, was in the US. So it was not easy. Uh, a, de a decision. It was a very difficult decision uh, from a professional perspective, perspective as you mentioned, uh, because we were doing very well. Uh, you know, US gives you an opportunity to, I don't know if other countries do that too, but I'm sure they do. But in the US, it's very, uh, if you work hard and you show your qualities, uh, there are big chances that you will, you will rise at the ladder. And that happened with Anil uh, to a very great extent. Uh, and I was in a in a very good position too. Uh, to leave all of that, and and especially to leave your kids, uh, be they be small or uh, you know uh, teenagers or older, it's very difficult to leave and come uh, this far. But I knew that you know Anil had this mission and goal in mind. Uh, this was this was uh, I I knew this thing right from the time we got married that he really wanted to give back to society. He wanted to come back to India and wanted to help people uh, in whatever way he could. So uh, we thought of different options of, you know, staying back there for, let's say, six months, coming here for six months, or uh, coming here for, uh, you know, two, three, four times a year and, and helping out. But none of those could have really, um, Anil wouldn't have been able to achieve what he did uh, by coming here and settling here, because you really need to be in the grassroots. Uh, actually be in the scene, in the scenario to really understand what the difficulties are. I mean, you know, there have been so many difficulties, but he has overcome a lot. A lot of patience is required. And, and uh, to accomplish uh, something, it, it takes a lot of patience and endurance. And I think if we had stayed there, I was sure that he was not going to be happy at all. Um, he wouldn't have forced me to come, but... Uh, uh, I didn't want, I wanted him to achieve what he wanted in his life. And uh, of course, our family was here. My parents were here. Niels, our mom was here. Um, or, uh, my, except for my brother, my our siblings are here. So it made a lot of sense to come and uh, spend some time with them. And that is, uh, I guess, the reason uh, for my backing him. Uh, you know, he, he made a lot of sacrifices too, but uh, it, was, it was his will, his desire, and I'll support whatever he wants. Thank you. Thank you, Rupadai. I know and you are... Just one quick correction. I think uh, Anil, in the, in the donors, he mentioned Vinayak Savant. I think it's Vinayak, VK Naik, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. And Anil can correct me. <laughs> okay. Dr. Naik. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. He is there with us today. He'll soon come. Thank you. Thank you. So while, while we are talking about it and while Rupati, you are there, I, I know currently you are through a personal situation and thank, thanks a lot for spend, uh, taking out that time uh, sure. in, in a difficult situation. Uh, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Nilima Naik. Nilima, are you there? Hello. 
I think Hello. she has to unmute also. <laughs> yeah, no, she's there. Nilima, I owe to you. I know she's Nilima Naik. She has been our speaker earlier as part of the Kokan Maratha Entrepreneur Series. And uh, she has a couple of questions for both uh, Dr. Anil Gaukar and uh, Rupa Gaukar. Over to you. Hello, Dr. Anil. And, yes, uh, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, hello, Rupa. I think I have been knowing uh, you after you got married to Rupa. So it has been over three and a half decades that we know each other. Yes. And uh, I know two sides of Dr. Anil. One is the hardcore uh, scientist, researcher, and a determined person uh, who will just not you know, leave anything uh, once he takes it up. And I think you have proved yourself uh, by all those actions that... Uh... So now, given this opportunity, I think I want to ask you at least two, three questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, yeah. Now, first question, uh, somewhere along the line, you had mentioned that... Uh, you know, both your children also got married in Karwar. Uh, having both the sons born, brought up, and, uh, you know, settled in U.S., whose wish was it that you get him married, uh, get them married in uh, Karwar? You can answer both of you, any one of you. So it was their wish to get married in our traditional way in Karwar. And... Even, uh, even, um, yeah. My Gautam married to an American Caucasian. So even we did the, you know, all the Haldi Murt and everything here. And their parents and their siblings, or 15 people came and we did it according to our tradition. And that's what they wanted. So, so the thing is, um, uh, you know, both our kids were born there. And, uh, but we made it a point. I think we wanted to come back to India back in uh, probably 1997. We had set a date. Uh, a year a time to come back but uh, uh, it did not happen then but at that time we made it a priority to come to India almost every year along with the kids and um, I think that is what uh, helped both of them Gautam and Gaurav to uh, know the family to to it's a very large extended family and they know uh, them uh, maybe not by name, but at least they know who they are. And um, they love to come to India, and not only them, but also their wives and our grandchildren too. So uh, our granddaughter hasn't come yet, but I'm sure in the near future she will. But uh, we are so happy that even Michelle's parents and sisters and brothers and everyone, they, they came here for the wedding, uh, enjoyed it. Um, and of course, Neha is from Gujarat. Neha's parents are from Gujarat. So we had the wedding there in Baroda, but we had a reception here in Karwar. And they all, the, that, their family also came here and everyone enjoyed it. So it's, it's, we're really blessed to have uh, kids and their families who enjoy coming to India and uh, visiting us in Amdari. It was totally their wish. We did, not, we did not force them at all. We wanted to do however they wanted it but uh, they wanted to have a wedding in India. Here so as a I side think, note, uh, yeah. As a side note, I want to mention that uh, we wanted Gautam and Gaurav to know how people live in India. So we sent them to uh, international school here in uh, Koimatur and they were there for one year. Gautam was in 11th and Gaurav was in 8th. Because, you know, in the U.S., everything you take is granted. A, a clean glass of water, it's my birthright to have a clean glass of water. The people there, they don't know how people, you know, lead life in other countries. So we wanted them to ground and then, you know, see how people live in other parts of the world and appreciate what they have in the U.S. So we sent them, you know, they were here for a year. It was very difficult for us. But I think they also got something from that education and being and I'm here. sure it was very difficult for them also. Yeah. You know, it was not easy. So, but, but um, let's hope. Not academically. We... I don't think they got, uh, they were like hurt by academically. But, you know, culturally, they, it was good. For a year, they learned something. Nice, nice to know, nice to know how even staying abroad, you were able to connect to the roots in Karwar. I think it's very important, uh, especially even from a Karwar perspective, right? Uh, 
खूप लोक परत येऊ लागला विच इज अ गुड साईन या इट्स यु नो पीपल आस्क अस आमका लोक विचारतात तुम्ही आयले तर तुम्ही चोडे ना तुका म्हणून सो आय ऑलवेज टेल दम दॅट यु नो इट्स इट्स people of our age group uh, from our generation uh, they don't come back so how can we expect our children to come back uh, the the great thing is that they do want to come and visit us and want to visit india and may, we make it a point uh, for them or we used to make it a point that we would visit all the relatives when uh, most of our relatives uh, uh, and go to you know from bombay to pune to belgaum to karwar and in karwar go around but they they never complained and they always met so if they can maintain that that would be really good i mean you know that that is that is a good routine in india for them even if they stay in the us great great excellent excellent we have one more uh, guest speaker today uh, dr vinayak naik vinayak bhau you there hi vinayak hi everybody hello 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 vinayak Hi. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, you too. All of us are so happy that Anil and Rupa are with us, and it's really is an exciting moment for all of us. And I had an opportunity to visit Anil's house at Chicago on two occasions. And uh, typically, if you see his backyard, it is full of uh, Indian vegetables grown there. <laughs> i don't know who did the wali bhai wali bhai ji wali bhai i told you we like made to... we made peas and wali bhai ji for him one night so that yes, <laughs> yeah that i still remember and uh, i don't want to you know uh, well much time on it but i'm going straight to the um, the topic the concern and uh, the objective of this particular webinar we know Uh, that is not only to encourage uh, and guide and support our young entrepreneurs of our community but also help to improve them their entrepreneurial skills as uh, far as we know about the future business it is assumed that the rapid and sustained growth will be seen mainly in three sectors that is cosmetics pharmaceuticals fmcg and food processing you all know that anil is not only an expert and vast experience in the research and development of these food related products but also has worked out in corporate sector at the very senior level in fmcg sector i would like to ask anil what will be his advice or support if needed to our young entrepreneurs who would like to venture in this sector of fmcg thank you vinay yeah good question so fmcg smcg probably some people do not know it's a fast moving consumer goods sector so first of all i would tell them that believe in yourself and challenge yourself it is okay to make mistakes but don't make the same mistake again learn from the mistakes and failures and again face the fears so many times we don't do things because of fear of failure so we have to face it right on and also when you are determined it takes away the fear of failure and uh, you, they have to have a trusted mentor who can nurture them and also help them again when you want to start a you know a company you know entre- uh, entrepreneur you want to be an entrepreneur then you have to have a capable team with the same values and vision that is very important if the people have different vision and value it will fail for sure and i think uh, vinay you can attest to it so you have to also brush up your skills related to project management financial management and uh, communication and presentation so you may have a good idea 
but if you go to venture capitalist you want to get money then you have to present your ideas and convince them that this is a good idea which is worth for them to uh, you know give the money to you think out of box that's another thing you know always don't be in the same box think out of box be innovative so when you say when i say innovative what comes to my mind is a quote by dr abdul kalam he said you know at the paus padtana he ji paksha sat ruka sakal ashray ghetat but eagle ya sahad sa that goes you know over the clouds so it's like a, you know that kind of innovation we need to you need to have so and also they need to have they need to know their product well and uh, when i go to you know the schools uh, colleges and give the inspirational speech i always talk about determination discipline and dedication we have to have that first you have to have determination that you are going to do it and then you have to dedicate yourself to that cause and there is a quote by swami vivekananda also like you know you choose one thing you make it your dream and work on it and you will be successful at the end so and then also you know instead of identifying a me too product you need to have a a niche product if possible and uh, you have to know it well and after all this you have to have a solid uh, business plan and very well thought out finance plan those are very important to have so i think uh, in this connection as a side note i want to mention that uh, there is a company called mmpl matiman management private limited uh it's matiman is you know uh, matiman so a lot of wisdom so and rupa and i are part of that company and uh, it is incorporated as a startup company in goa and uh, we have they have also an academy education part so it is divided into two parts education and business in education they give the uh, like uh, counseling career counseling and also uh, job placement and then uh, guided uh, coaching for a class 9 8 10th and also they give the uh, you know the coaching for competitive exams all that comes under education and then under business right from like product survey to getting required permissions building factory sourcing manpower and statutory compliances all like ca cs that is uh, uh, you know and legal services all that uh, so all services under one umbrella is, there, is the motto of the company so you don't have to go anywhere so if someone is interested you know they can approach such companies so they can get uh, some help to start their you know business so this is my advice to them thank you anil thank you very much thank you for a question vinay thank you vinay bhav and thank you i bhav for the for a very detailed very detailed answer on that i'll just take we have few questions coming from the audience uh, so i'll just take some of them uh, sure so just just letting the audience know that third uh, question ami already cover kela ta te ami repeat karna uh, je new questions nala je vegre asa uh, that only will pick up Uh, so one question from dinkar nai is uh, my question to anil sir is how to create more and more leaders uh, and from an entrepreneurs from karwar and from our community i think partially you already answered that but uh, do you want to add something anil bo on it see i think uh, first thing you know like when you look at the trend in our community i mean before it was like you know uh, military or police a teacher right a 9 to 5 job you get a monthly salary and if you have a small company and you you only make big money if you are a businessman you will not find a wife it's that kind of situation was happening right now i don't know so a lot of people you know they don't want to take risk and i think they need to get educated 
on these different things, what, what I talked about, you know. Uh, so they have to be trained on those things and they need to acquire the skills. And first of all, you have to take risk. Without risk, risk you don't get anything. Uh, so I would say, you know, adhere to some of the things I talked about before, and uh, we need to make sure that uh, they take risk and they also acquire the skills to be successful in entrepreneurship. So then definitely they will be, you know, there are a lot of examples and I think it is best to talk to, you know, like uh, Dr. Vinayak, because he has been a successful entrepreneur. Kamlakshbao, Shohanan Saan, Anam Saan, and other. So all those people can help, you know, uh, help those people uh, in uh, at least initially to get started. Thank you, thank you, Anibhav. Uh, one, one question coming from the team, and it's sort of related to some of the other questions again, so I'm not taking anyone's name. Uh, what are your thoughts on the social entrepreneurship and long-term sustainability of social endeavors? Uh, so donations and patronage from individuals versus a self-sustained model. I think, uh, you know, there are, there are people who are able to donate if you if they know that this is going to the good cause. I mean, a lot of donations uh, what Premasham Charitable Trust received, a lot of them without asking anything. So, so that, you know, if you are doing a good cause and using it for the good cause, have good accountability, then you can get the, the funding. There shouldn't be a problem because uh, as you know, in our community, there are a lot of well-to-do people and uh, they do, you know, donate to the ch charitable causes. So, and in terms of sustainability, uh, I think this newer generation, I think they are more prone to donate than the, the older people. So they are, uh, they, they, they want to help the society. That's what, that's what I feel. I don't know what uh, others feel. Uh, so to be sustainable shouldn't be a problem with the new generation. Thank you, uh, Nilbo. Uh, I think Dr. Nilima Naik is back. Uh, Nilima Tai, would you like to ask one more question? Uh, yeah, if you permit to. Yes, one question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Dr. Anil and Rupa, to me, Bautek, Bautam Shidesh Padela Jagatle, Antarctica Sahib, Ani Exidanto, scientist, researcher, etc., Ani on the other side, the traveler. Maybe. Uh, what was uh, that, you know, that made you uh, travel so many countries, maybe six continents, and including Antarctica? Rupa, you want to take that? <laughs> okay. Um, we both, uh, fortunately, love traveling. We love to see other countries. We love to see their culture. Uh, and I think Anil got that opportunity early on when after doing his PhD to go to Japan and then to the US. And and uh, even there, he made sure in his trip to Japan that he saw a lot of uh, places. That, that curiosity to see the world, um, I think broadens your perspective in terms of, you know, we are not, not just, um, uh, we just don't stick to Indians. We also know about other people, other cultures, uh, what are they like? And again, after traveling to uh, all these countries, we have got a lot more to see. We have seen uh, quite a few, but still, there is the world is our world is really uh, big. Uh, but I think the bottom line is that uh, wherever you go, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the time, you'll find people who are very generous, very nice. Uh, the cultures uh, all boil down to being, uh, you know, family together. Family is the utmost uh, for them. Uh, so, you know, th that, that uh, humanity which we see uh, here is also present in all, all different countries, and we love to see that. So, uh, that, is, that is one of the reasons we travel. And along with Antarctica, I think that one of the exciting places that we have been to is, is uh, um, uh, uh, Mount, uh, Mount Kailash. 
I think that was one of our most challenging uh, places. So a lot to see, but happy that we've seen uh, quite a few. You want to add something? Kiran, with yeah, your see. permission, last favorite question of mine. We all <laughs> know behind every successful man, there is a strong woman supporting uh, him from all you know, corners of life. And uh, uh, Mrs. Sudhamurthy says, behind every successful woman, there is a very understanding man. In your case, Rupa and Ani, both of you have been very successful. So what is the answer? Both can of you I, can answer. No, no, I, I'll, take that, I'll take that question. Uh, <laughs> because I, uh, you know, the achievements that I did before my marriage were all my, uh, all credit goes to my family, my parents. But after my marriage, uh, whatever I've achieved, I think I've achieved with Anil's support. If he had not supported me in my so there was a problem. We lost her. You want to continue from there? Yeah. So yeah. Um, see, I would say I am. You know, and no, in computer without... science. So. Uh, so it was very difficult at that time with two children to go through this. And uh, it, it was uh, uh, because Anil supported in cleaning the house, in cooking, in uh, taking care of the children. And I was out at, this, at college or at the library during the weekends. He did all of that. And only because of that, I could finish my uh, graduation quickly. Uh, so all behind every successful woman, there is a, a very understanding man. So I, sure, uh, this is true in our life. I think I would sum up sure. by saying, uh, behind everybody, whether it is yes. uh, man yes. or woman, the other yes. partner has to be very understanding. And yes. I think, thank you, Kiran, for giving me that extra, you know, question. So thank no, you so I just much. Wanted to, I just wanted to add one thing. So... I think without Rupa, I will be nobody because in the US, they recognize me as Rupa's husband. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. No. So <laughs> That's not true. She gets most of the credit. So, but for her willingness to return, I would have, wouldn't have been able to come back. And going back to the previous uh, you know, question, I visited the only 67 countries out of 195. It's only one third. The interest in the Prithvi Darshan was because of my curiosity and to know or experience new cultures, traditions, foods, and uh, ways of living, and to broaden my horizon. So those are the reasons, you know, which uh, interest us to travel around the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Nilamathai. Uh, and thank you for the beautiful inputs. I'll just take a couple, uh, one more question before we move towards closure. Uh, it's from, okay, before that, I think there are a couple of questions from Dr. Koe Rani, Paniji Rani, all are about uh, career counseling and personality development for youngsters. I think you already covered that. Uh, that you also have got a suggestion from Vanaja Rani from Panji that you and Rupatai are a great inspiration to the new generations. Any plans for publishing a biography? Uh, so I no. think I think we can definitely you can we'll definitely let you know. You know for publishing. <laughs> uh, last question from the Tatre Savan. Anilba, what is your message to those who have settled abroad from our community to help and afflict our community in India? See, it is a personal decision. Okay. So many people are surprised that you know I came from US and I'm settled here. Uh, but 95% uh, of people, they don't want to come back because there are more pros there than cons. And here more cons than pros. So, you know, another thing is a health facility to come and settle in a small village or a small town. People are afraid that, you know, they may not be able to get uh, good health facilities. So if we improve the health, facil health facilities in Sekarwa, uh, if you make a multi-speciality hospital, I think a lot of people will come back. So I think, you know, they need to have a, uh, and also there is there should be a desire, a determination to come back and serve. Then only it will happen. It cannot be like a half-hearted. 
Okay, so we sold everything from the house and everything from US and we came here. We are not going to go back for good there. So. See, another thing I think that, that uh, even if they stay abroad, I think what they, um, again, as, as Anil said, it should come from their heart. Um, it, you know, even if they are living there, I think they should not forget the roots. Um, they have lived here, uh, uh, some of them, they've, they've uh, uh, spent their childhood here, their uh, educational years here. Uh, they've seen <laughs> what India is and they know where things can be uh, improved. At least, you know, if uh, however they can help financially by being here, however they can do it, they should be able, they should come and give back to the society if they are willing to. So, you know, uh, uh, visit, our, uh, visit some uh, schools, visit uh, uh, hostels, visit, visit tribal areas, visit uh, uh, hospitals and see what the condition is, see how you can help. You know, however they can, you know, contribute to the country would be would be a big help. Would be giving back to to their homeland. Thank you, thank you, thanks both of you. And I think you you uh, Anil, you quoted a couple of times quotes from Swami Vivekanand. I think they they were very well timed, considering the birthday of Swami Vivekanand recently. Yes. Yeah. So a uh, uh, last question from the, I think this is coming from the KME team and also from few other people. So how do you manage to help the children of your ashram during the pandemic? Uh, were they still staying in ashram? And uh, is there any support uh, that is needed uh, for in these difficult times? You know, it's not an ashram, it is a hostel. Okay. So... It is a hostel and during pandemic schools were closed. So they were not supposed to keep them in the hostel. So they went home and when the school opened, they came back. So now, now they are there, you know, and okay. uh, I would invite yeah. any of you, when you come to Karwar, give me a call and we can show you the hostel. You know? You'll be surprised to see the facility. And uh, those uh, girls are you know, very fortunate to have those, that kind of facility. See, unfortunately, what we could not do is uh, give them any kind of a remote device to work from where or to study from where they, they live. Um, they live in very remote country, uh, areas in, uh, in and around Karnataka. So it, it's not, it wasn't possible to do that. And this pandemic hit us so, so suddenly that we were not prepared for it. Um, so they, unfortunately, they couldn't stay there because uh, government rules, we had to close all of it. Uh, the other thing was also that uh, uh, they had to, um, they, the, the 10th standard students came back, to give their exams. They were there for a couple of weeks during uh, last March or April, whenever the exams were held. Um, so hopefully, you know, uh, uh, things will improve. We do need help. We would, uh, as you asked us, as what kind of uh, projects do we have in mind in the future for these girls? Um, any kind of, uh, you know, help in terms of uh, giving them computers, uh, giving them some digital uh, education, um, making them uh, more competent to face the face the future, face their future studies. Entrepreneurs um, coming in and talking to them, uh, successful people, you know, whoever they are, it doesn't have to be successful. They can they can come and visit and and give some inspiration to the girls to not just stop studying after 10th because whenever you ask them they just say they are going to go back be a, a police or be a teacher or a nurse that is all their ambitions are we want them to think big we want them to dream big and and be what they want because they will be the first in their tribe or in their community to become something like that so we want them to be inspired not just by us but just the two of us saying something really doesn't help but when they see others uh, inspiring them to, I'm sure it would help. So as Anil said, if anyone is around um, Karwar, uh, they have time and would like to visit the hostel, uh, you're more than welcome to come and visit. Thank you. Uh, I think that's that's definitely a point taken for not just our team, but uh, for many people in the audience. And I hope that this session will help reach out to more people, right? So that uh, there are many people who are willing to contribute and contribution, as you said, is not necessarily always monetary, right? 
but uh, sometimes the opportunity or the chance uh, is something that is missing so good 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 very glad to know so we'll just move to the and we are about to close anil pawa and patai uh, last few few questions so i'll make this like a rapid fire for both of you okay so uh, you have to just answer in maybe one word or just couple of words no no details all right okay. uh your inspiration mahatma gandhi my father okay uh, most proud moment when two student got that be excellent rupa yeah um, uh, most proud moment i think uh, one of my moments is uh, the where uh, you see the patterns behind anil on the staircase and this those those were really proud moments for me <laughs> most important trait of a person i would say character character because your you know your thoughts becomes words words become action and action becomes habit habit becomes character and character defines your destiny wow very nice uh some some questions on a very light note a book that you can read again and again so for me it is uh, all i need to learn i learned in kindergarten by robert fulgham so what it says you know share things play fair put things where you found them clean up your mess etc 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 if you have time it's a you know very simple book <laughs> just try it okay all i need to know i learned in kindergarten robert fulgham i think i heard about it not not read it though tupadai for you uh you know yes i love uh, i've read my kids books uh, when they were in school and one of them was charlotte's web and that taught a lot about you know uh, just being being oneself and loving others so i think uh, charlotte's web is one of my favorite books it's a movie too you should watch it sure sure okay uh, anilva how long does it take you to get ready from 1 <laughs> minute to 15 minutes depending on the situation <laughs> okay i can get ready quickly i don't have to take shower i can just go you know devada <laughs> <laughs> for you <laughs> uh well uh, uh, for me too you know in, within 5 minutes i do can i can get ready uh, and no uh, so again or depending on the occasion 5 to 15 minutes and i think anil will agree to that he will not say that i take an hour <laughs> <laughs> favorite kokni dish for me dr vinay can reply this he can answer this question for me peas <laughs> and wali bhaji ambat and for me it is wali bhaji ambat with a sumta je sumta right sumta je gale But, but now we are vegetarians. We don't eat fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And we were eating fish. Mine was a curry sandwich, bakri, ani, this is sukhe. It was my favorite. Another uh, very important, you know, uh, the uh, thing I remember about Anil. Uh, I think every I must share it, but everybody will like it. First time I went to US in 1982, and. Anil was there at that time in Chicago. Uh, I was at New Jersey, and uh, one of the common friend is Vidyadhar Savan. Uh, he phoned uh, Anil that uh, that I had come, and Anil wanted to talk to me. And Anil was telling me, "You come to Chicago, kamba dhapun do orla man." At that time, he ate and eight so chicken. So. Maybe that's yes. the reason. That was the nice moment. Thank you, Anil. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, last two. One of your favorite songs that makes you feel like a teen. I think uh, Rupa will, you know, sing it for me. <laughs> I won't sing it for you, but I'll tell you what it is. Which one is that? Ham to make the kamre me bandho. Ham to make the kamre me bandho. Aur chabi ko jai. That was my favorite thing. Good, good, good. Have yeah, good, to, good to know your young side, Anil. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. One thing that you really love about Karwar. 
You see, if you had asked me 10 years ago, I would have said fish. But I am, we are vegetarians. We don't eat fish. So now it is the natural beauty of Karwar. Natural beauty of Karwar. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, Rupati? Same thing. Be beaches. There are so many beaches between Karwar and Akola. That's, they're just beautiful. It's just awesome. They're untouched. So I think you all should explore it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So before we close this, uh, Anil Babu, final, any final words of your, your knowledge, your wisdom, any advice uh, for the young generation? And there are many of them on this uh, webinar. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, and I would like to address these youngsters. You know, so today's youngsters are tomorrow's uh, asset for India, and uh, they have the responsibility to shape India's future. There is a saying in Kannada, "Vidya bali na balaku." It's that's uh, education is the light of life. Vidya beeru kahi adare falasihi. So education's uh, you know, roots are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. So with education, you know, we can uh, remove the poverty. So I would you know, request all the you know, youngsters to study hard so that they can reach that highest potential. Work hard, work smart, be innovative. Remember that phrase I gave by Dr. Abdul Kalam. Always be determined, disciplined, and uh, dedicated to the work you do. Never give up. Keep your dreams alive and hopes alive all the time. Everything is possible. There is nothing impossible. Only thing that is impossible is what you cannot think of. And uh, Napoleon Bonaparte said, impossible is the word to be found in fool's dictionary. So there is nothing impossible. What happens to you may not be under your control, but how you react to it is totally within your control. So react it wisely. So if you don't like something, try to change it. If you cannot change it, change your attitude. Attitude is very important in life. You always have a positive attitude. When you look at the glass, which is half full, then think of it as half full, not half empty. Both are correct but always have a positive attitude. That is very important. That uh, give the boost to your goal. And uh, adjusting your attitude solve, solves half of the problem. And uh, always inspire others. Do, be selfless, you know, inspire others so that they can reach their highest potential. And uh, also I would say that you are a unique person. No one in this world like you, and uh, no one knows what you are capable of, except you. So make the best use of your abilities. And another thing I, I say, I mean, in this audience, I don't know how they are, but when I go to colleges, I always say, to be born poor is not your sin, but to remain poor is a big sin, it's a great sin. So that means use your all abilities, to reach your potential in life. So don't be you know, poor rest of your life. And uh, also, if even 10% of the, you know, whatever youngsters who are listening to now or in future, if they listen to me in uh, YouTube, if 10% get inspired by what I said, I think my time here today was worth it. And uh, in closing, I would like to say, you are the master of your destiny. And uh, here again, I, can, I want to invoke uh, Swami Vivekananda saying that uh, all power is within you. You can do anything and everything provided you are determined. Believe in yourself, that is very important. And uh, I want to thank you for uh, you know, giving me this opportunity to you know, speak. And also I thoroughly enjoyed Rupa and I thoroughly enjoy the time here and uh, my thanks to again to KME group and also to the to our host wonderful host Kiran and uh, all the players individual players behind the screen Jahin. Thank you Anil I think that that is a very inspiring and really broad goosebumps uh, 
Uh, Rupati, again, a very big thanks to you. Uh, would, you would you want Thank to you. add something during the closure? No, that's it. Um, you know, Anil did a great job in closing and summarizing everything, whatever we want uh, to say. But, um, but it's, you know, many times we start out with something, they've, they've studied something, but then they could be doing something totally different. And that is okay. Today's world allows them to do that. When we were growing up, there were very fixed uh, things that we could do, you know, become an engineer, doctor, BS, BA, BCom, that's all there was. But now many doors have opened, so they should uh, even if you have done education in something, you can always do your career, you can uh, uh, change and become something else. As long as you have that determination and and that you will do it and anyone can be successful. So, um, you know, all the best to the youngsters, to everyone who is uh, uh, listening. Any help that we can provide, any guidance that all the uh, great uh, uh, you know, leaders can provide. They should avail that and uh, become successful in life. And thank you all again to listening to us. Thank you, Rupata. I, I think you, you did close that with a very pertinent point. In today's world, uh, whatever the education has been, there is always this chance to change and so many things coming up. Thanks, thanks yeah. again. So with that, uh, uh, we will we'll close the session today. A fine big thanks from on behalf of the KMA team, Anil Bhau, uh, Rupatai, Dr. Niliman Naik, Dr. Vinayak Naik, a big, a big thanks to you too. Uh, this, this is, I hope these sessions are really helping uh, all there who are listening to us and they inspire you as, as Anil Bhau said, even, even if 10% is getting inspired, I think that's worth the effort. Uh, we'll just close this with a video from uh, KME. Uh, we would like to all you to know that uh, for any questions, feel free to reach out. We have an email ID. We can pass your questions to uh, Anil Bhav and Rupatai if there is anything that you want to ask. Okay. In fact, to any of the speakers, email ID ram questions which are ani amite pass on Okay. Wish you a very wonderful 2022. Okay. Stay safe. Introducing KME Connect. A unique way to grow your business and help your community at the same time. Whether you're looking for vendors, consultants, or you have a job opening, KME Connect is a one-stop solution to find trusted references. KME Connect, coming soon.